body image is a very real thing that I've been thinking about more as I anticipate having sex with my husband for the first time. This is like a real girl chat right now. So if you feel me, let me know <laughs> for anyone else who has had these same fears. And I normally like have pretty good body image and I have my random days like most women do where you're just not feeling too hot. But lately I've been getting more nervous about being naked. and like experiencing that kind of intimacy and just being seen fully is kind of scary when you think about it. Like being emotionally seen, being physically seen and this person sees you for all of your flaws and that's the beauty in it, right? Especially like saving sex for marriage. They have made a commitment and a covenant with God and with you in front of your family and your friends and your community and saying like, I choose you no matter what and I choose you before you have given me your body. And in response to that, choosing each other and making this covenant with God entering into the sacrament you are giving of yourself completely to that person in sexual intimacy and I think that's so beautiful but it's also scary <laughs> it's also weird and I do have a sexual past and so I have like done certain things with another guy before and I feel very healed and redeemed from that it was a long time ago like praise the lord but it is it is weird thinking about that um so I think because of that, more so than the wedding, I've been thinking a lot more about my body and like wanting to be in good shape and all these things. And thankfully, Justin and I have had very open conversations about this because we both had similar thoughts of like, oh, I want to like look good for our wedding night and stuff. And we're just like, we're not going to be looking at our stomachs when we're having sex and stuff. Like, it's silly. Um, but that, that fear is real. And I really think it's from the devil just trying to hate something that is good and pure and lovely and wonderful and keep us distracted on things that don't matter. Like obviously we want to feel strong and healthy and good in our bodies and whatnot. And that's all wonderful, but trying to change how we look for a wedding or for a wedding night, it's just not worthwhile at all. But I will say I really haven't been exercising much, just really honestly a lot this year. I got injured, like I hurt my knee back in February when I was training for the Disney half marathon, which I did not run unfortunately, but I'll link the Disney vlog somewhere. It's going up tomorrow. So you'll get this video like a week after probably. And yeah, I have just been like taking it really easy with exercise, which has been really nice. I'm in this spot now where I just miss my love for working out. I would say summer of 2021, I got really into strength training and I felt amazing. Just as a more petite person, putting on muscle mass makes a really big difference on my frame and makes me feel more like a woman and like I have more shape and curves and just feel stronger and more able to like do my everyday tasks. And I miss that feeling of having like muscle. And I definitely have some muscle, but I just, I miss that love of strength training, but I just haven't been super into it. And I also haven't been super into running. Like it just hasn't been fun. And I don't wanna ever force myself to do a certain type of exercise, but at the same time, discipline is a thing and discipline is important and forms us character wise and spiritually. And so I'm trying to find that balance right now between discipline and routines and kind of like making myself do things, if you will, and also being gentle with myself and, listening to my body and being intuitive and how I move and how I eat and all of that and just finding that middle ground. Cause honestly, like I don't feel like exercising most days, but I know it's good for me and I always feel better after. So it's like, what's that balance between the two? Um, that's literally the story of my life is finding the balance between discipline and like being kind and gentle because I don't think that, and honestly the lesson I've learned is you can still be kind and gentle with yourself in the middle of having discipline and routines and rhythms. Like the two things are not mutually exclusive. I could go on my whole rant. Anyways, I, <laughs> that is all to say, I'm trying to find some sort of workout routine and it is not to change my body or look a certain way in my wedding dress. Like honestly, my body has not changed much over the past few years and my wedding dress fits me great. And it's not really anything about that. It's more of like, I want to feel good for the rest of my life, honestly. Um, and thinking about the wedding is kind of a milestone. We have like 12 weeks until the wedding. So I'm kind of like, okay, like what can I do over the next 12 weeks? So like habits, ritual, routine wise with movement that feels good and has me like in a place just feeling really rested and healthy and strong in my body that I can continue past our wedding. So it's not just like for the wedding to get me like ready for this one day that's so fleeting and 
could probably like have so many mishaps and things that go wrong. I want to design a routine that feels good for this season. So yeah, I don't know. I That is on my list for today or tomorrow to kind of figure out what that will look like. I think my ideal would be to work out like four or five times a week. I like taking days off on Sundays just because we're usually so busy with church and like serving and errands and stuff. And I do prefer morning workouts, even though I don't like it in the moment, it ends up being so good for my day. And then Wednesdays, Justin has small group in the mornings and so he doesn't work out those days. And so it's just easier for me to sync up my schedule with his and like also take a rest day on Wednesdays. So we've been doing like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday workouts together. And that has been so great. Saturday we'll probably sleep in and meet up for like a run or something. But yeah, basically my idea would be like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, doing like alternating upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, something like that with strength training and then doing some sort of baby run in there too. I might even do like a couch to 5K program or something because my cardiovascular fitness is not in a good spot right now. My heart rate was spiking so much during my run this morning that I took like four walking breaks and running just a mile. And so I'm very humbled <laughs> by where I'm at fitness level right now. And so we're talking like real baby steps with any sort of plan so it just it feels good to think about having some sort of plan or routine because I'm such a structure person and I can't just walk into the gym and be like what am I gonna do today like sometimes I'll decide that minute between upper body or lower body with strength training but I need some sort of structure and like plan to follow so that I am not just willy-nilly it because I get more stressed when I don't have direction so yeah that's where we're at right now that was such a long rant Sorry, not sorry. I hope you enjoy. If you're a bride or if you've been a bride or if you're just a human that's like, wedding culture around body image sounds weird. It is weird. And there's so many weird cultural influences and even within Christian spaces and like waiting for marriage and yada yada. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting this pressure from anyone else. It's more of like things I've absorbed and told myself of like, you know, you've waited to have sex. Like you must like look perfect on your wedding night. That's some BS. Like the whole point is we are imperfectly perfect in God's eyes and we are, humans with bodies that aren't perfect. His body isn't perfect, my body isn't perfect. Like that's a beautiful thing to come together as one in our imperfection and be made more into the image of Christ who is perfect over the course of our marriage and our lives. So anyways, I can go on my whole rant. If you feel me, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day. Spooky vibes out.